What's up everyone, welcome back to the vlog. Another day with the FC. It is coming together. The cage is finally completed paint. Um, I don't know what I just said, completed paint, but it's done being painted all around. You can see, got those A pillars. Looks pretty good from the front of the car now, having a white cage compared to that brown rust. The plan for today is I would like to get this wiring out. So. All of this stock wiring, none of this stuff is going to be used. There's like obviously a couple latches for like the trunk and stuff that I'm gonna keep and like take all this stuff out. This doesn't get used up here anymore. Um, this defroster slash windshield wiper thing doesn't get used. So it's just a lot of like excess wires that are not gonna be used anymore. This whole harness right here is gonna be taken out since I don't have the center console or anything that goes with the center console. So that'll get rid of these, these wires and we'll probably end up only using like maybe 10 of these wires that's in this whole bundle right here. His Instagram's right here, Mr. BF Mayhem. Uh, he's gonna come help me wire the car. Thank you so much, Carlos. Hopefully we can do that this weekend if I can order the material and it'll just look 10 times better. So before he gets here, I would like to have all, he said he wanted me to have all this wiring pulled out and then I'm gonna prep this stuff a little bit, clean up the inside and maybe paint the interior today. It's a big maybe, I don't know if I have enough time but uh, I do need to paint the interior before I put anything back in it. And also I'm going to put carpet back in the car. I made my final decision. I just, I want a street car. I already have a race car, I don't need another race car. It might be easier to make it gutted but I will enjoy it a lot more if it has carpet. So I need to get this prepped. Part of the reason I'm painting it is because it's all red on the inside and I'm gonna have black carpet. And so I don't want carpet to move or like certain parts of the chassis to show and have it be red. Well, that'll get the job done, I guess. <laughs> starting to come apart it's looking way nicer so just like kind of imagine none of these wires are gonna be back here anymore and it'll just look really really clean with the painted gray and like a little bit of carpet and just like a few wires wrapped up in like a little bundle it's gonna look perfect so this down here is the rear windshield wiper fluid bottle not gonna use that it doesn't even work anyways so I'm gonna take this out and throw this away um, it's like kind of weird seeing how easy it comes apart because I don't know how to put it back together. And it's like kind of scary. So that's why I am taking as many photos as possible. I know Carlos will know where it goes because like a wiring harness like this kind of falls together. And uh, it's just one of those things that I absolutely hate wiring. It's the one thing that I never want to do. And so doing this is just like kind of nice taking it out, but like I don't know about it going back in. But like I'm gonna get back to this. Just like two 10 mils right here, this whole bottle will pop out. And then once I get down to the bottom side of the chassis where the seat goes, it's easy from there. And I'm not gonna take the wiring all the way out from under the dash. Carlos does not want me to do that. He wants me to take it out up to where my pedals go and then just leave it in a bundle right there and like put it in a bag for him to figure out what goes where. And so I don't cut the wrong wires and he has to remake them just to make everything simple. back here now it's time to move it to the front which is the easy part this definitely went a lot faster than I thought it was going to so it gives me more time to clean the inside of the car get all the trash out and uh, maybe the front carpet and put down a slight little coat of paint that'd be nice so we'll see what we can do main chassis wiring harness is now out of the car now there's just some miscellaneous bolts, nuts and screws, and then like some trash back here that I need to pick up. And then it'll look a lot cleaner, so I'm gonna get to that. And then uh, probably maybe start pulling out that carpet off of the center console right there. Everything is cleaned up out of the back now. Looks like a million times better. Uh, over up in the front. I have all of these wires pulled out also. Um, this is gonna stay in here and I will tape this off. And then this cable I'm going to take out 
and uh, probably rewrap this in some electrical tape just so it looks a little bit nicer. But it, it's only temporary because like Carlos said in the last video, he wants to redo this because this wire is too thick of gauge. Um, over here, it's pretty cleaned up. Got all the wires cleaned up over here. I have those sitting outside of the chassis. I'm probably gonna put those in a trash bag. And then now I need to start vacuuming up all of this stuff. Everything is all taped up on this one, and I already did that one. So now the shock towers are taped off. One other thing I need to do is get some tin foil. Someone said in the comments below on one of my videos when I was painting the rear end of my FD that use tin foil to wrap things because it makes it way faster instead of wrapping a whole bunch of loops of tape. So I'm gonna get some tin foil and put it around the shocks, uh, around the cages I just painted. Probably like that wire right there, or the ground I might take off, but those wires for sure, I'm probably gonna have to wrap those in tin foil. I'm probably gonna roll the car outside, depending on how windy it is, and uh, paint the inside of the car outside. But if it's too windy, I'll end up just putting on a mask and suffering through the annoying fumes and paint the interior of the car. I am beyond excited to see the interior gray now. It's gonna look 10 times better, and I'm like super, super happy. I just got done eating some food, got some tin foil, Let's see if this works. I mean, it'll be really cool if it does. I'm really hoping it does because it would save me so much time. And then I would be able to paint the interior and get like somewhat of an idea of what the car is gonna look like. So I'm gonna get to that now. And uh, hopefully I still have a little bit of sunlight after I'm done. So I just found that these, when the last owner spray painted the car, he never took these off. So I'm gonna take the, I took this one off with these two screws and I'm gonna take the other one off also and just throw these on like a piece of paper and spray paint them black and it'll definitely make a big difference. Aluminum roll cage, look at that. Aluminum tin foil roll cage. My aluminum roll cage is now done. Uh, that went very fast actually, and it is probably one of the coolest things that I've ever done. I also have some aluminum down there over some wiring that I necessarily don't want to move too much because it's connected to the ECU, but this is probably like the coolest thing that anybody's ever told me. Like, So thank you for commenting in the comments below saying these aluminum foil. I can't remember who it was, but stuff like this makes me really happy. So if you guys ever have any suggestions, please remember to put them down in the comments below. So far, it's halfway primered. Just so you guys know, like obviously you can see some red still. Primer is not supposed to be a full legit coat. You wanna make sure it dries and then you put another coat, another couple coats. Um, this is a very light primer, so it looks almost white, but uh, it's gonna be the same gray as I did on my tube rear end in my FD, like this. So it's gonna be this color gray on the inside of the car. I'm gonna put down some more primer and then put a little bit of paint and hopefully we get like somewhat of an idea. So I had all this primered and I had all this primered and I ended up running out of primer. So I went ahead and started painting this. Um, as you guys can see right here, there's like a little bit of that like first stuff that I literally could not scrape up because it was stuck into this sound deadening. And I don't wanna take the sound deadening out like I said before because it is a street car and I do want to keep some of the vibrations down. So that part doesn't really matter because seats are going there anyways and no one, nobody's gonna see it. But like, I guess you guys all saw it now, but whatever. Um, 
So this is the gray that I was talking about, and then that's that like primer up there, so you can definitely see the color difference. Um, I, like I said, I did run out of primer, so I'm gonna go ahead and just paint that side and just go for it with the actual paint. It should be fine since nothing's gonna be touching that area anyways. There's gonna be carpet over it. There's gonna be a bucket seat. It doesn't really matter that much as long as I got primer on the backside where people will actually see and stuff might touch it. That's the important part. I'm gonna get back to painting this right now. It is getting a little bit dark, so I'm gonna try and hurry up a little bit to an extent. I'm gonna try and have all of this gray, like the actual paint down by tonight, and then have it done, and then come back tomorrow touch up little spots if I need to, but if not, then it'll be good to go, and then I can hopefully get some carpet and get some interior put back into this thing. My camera ended up dying during the time lapse of painting it, but it turned out so good. I am like seriously so excited to finally like do something with the exterior of this car now that the inside's painted. But it all came out very, very well. I might go buy another can just to be able to do another couple coats to make it like super, super glossy and obviously more durable because it'll be thicker paint. So I'm probably gonna keep this, uh, the aluminum tin foil wrap on there. It was kind of a funny thing. Uh, I can't believe how well it actually worked. There's a couple spots where I have to touch up. I'll just use like a little sponge with some white paint. Thank you guys for watching. This is my RX-7 FC build. If you don't know, I also have an FD that I'm gonna be taking to SEMA and I'm gonna be doing work on that. If you haven't already, please subscribe, comment down below, whatever else you guys wanna see, and I'll see you guys in the next video.